Hey guys, Juicy Bite here, and today we're playing Tom Clancy's The Division. Now, I've not played this game in a little while. I kinda stopped playing after the last rebalance that came out just after Underground. Really enjoyed Underground, huge fan of it. Then the rebalance came out, and I might as well have been a marshmallow for how much damage I took, and I might as well have been healing the baddies for all the damage I did to them. And no, it's not because I couldn't hit them, it's because my guns never seem to do any damage. Okay? So, I'm really excited about update 1.4 to see what it is, what's happening. I've heard a lot of great things from what I was reading on the public test server news and comments and all, but I've not tried it out myself now. So, fingers crossed, really hoping for a lot. Today, I've got a friend with me. Next game, he's sitting in and you will probably be hearing him talking in the background. So just a quick overview. There's a whole load of stuff. If you go into the game and look it out, you can get more details of each of the changes or better yet, head over for a full detailed list on the Ubisoft forums and web pages relating to the division. Right, so let me get started. So this is what I was at. 224, 30, 60. Usually done this. I usually play as the healer in the group. So you'll usually see me decked out in that way. And some basic golds. But all my gear is probably completely irrelevant now given the patch notes that I was reading. Okay, so I'm being told that I have a higher world bracket available. Let's see how I do that. Hmm. Maybe in the map. Okay, so I am automatically in world tier one is shown up here tells me i can go to a higher tier so let's just do that i am going to go oh no i've been joined by another agent um so tier one tier two, so okay so tier one is set for zero to 163 tier two is 164 to 182 Tier 3 is 183 to 204, and Tier 4 is 205 plus. I'm going to hate myself later, but I'm going with Tier 4. And we are switching in 25 seconds. So while that's sorting itself out... Let me change my abilities around based on some of the stuff I'd been reading and whatnot. So we're going to throw on a heal. Yeah. Oh. I will have to go through my skills later. Okay, so we're in tier 4. Let me just check my skills out make sure i'm picking the one that i want okay so it's as it's only two of us playing i'm going to go with the base first heal since it heals the best and has the largest range right i'm not going to carry the smart cover anymore what i am going to do is test out the changes to the life support box yeah we're gonna go with that one right and we're gonna change that we'll just we'll just go full heals how about that I have no idea what talents I have as equipped. I think... I think I'll leave them for the moment. Perks. I have all the perks. 
Okay, so my skill power is fairly high, my toughness is kind of high, and my DPS is kind of high. Um, I'm probably not going to be staying in these gears and such going forward. I was originally building up for a reclaimer set. Looking at the information, that's probably going to change, but I'm not really set on anything at this point in time as this is my first time back in since all the changes. Now, my companion probably really wants to go do something, so we're going to go get the supply box. NG, do you want to do, do traveling there, or do you want to run there and see what the groups are like? Whatever, let's just run there. Okay, let's run. Lead the way. I have no idea what gun I'm carrying. What is that? I don't know. I don't know what gun it is. Okay, there's... So our daily is to kill... Ten rioters. It would be really amusing if I end up going full heals again, because that's what I originally ran as a solo, well, duet group of players. So that would be novel to go back to my division route, so to speak. So we saw there a pulse from Metalorius. We'll just call him Meta. A really uneventful run. I know normally when you went through and did runs like this, you usually ended up with lots of baddies, but this time, there's not much of any. So I thought that was a different skill. <laughs> I was expecting that to be my self-heal. Are we ever going to get to this place? It's like miles away! The reason it seems so far away is because we've had to run around the dark zone. 
And speaking of the dark zone, it looks like there's a new, or new to me anyways, uh, gear set that's come out or been revamped to be... Hey, turn over there. Or where I'm supposed to be going. Regeared or revamped to be very PvP, so probably worth checking it out. I cannot see him for the life of me. Okay, so one of the changes they did was that normal mobs have a higher chance and can now also drop gear sets and golds. It doesn't have to just be named guys anymore. So that's that should be really helpful. You can also see in my upper right hand corner that it's telling me what my gear set is. Which not gear set. <laughs> my world. Now, you will eventually notice that Meta does not believe in cover. Um, most of the people that I play with do not believe in cover. They think cover's for the weak. And they pretty much never use it. And then have the nerve to blame me when they die. So, we saw there that the T-Skill is working. I've collected all these Echoes. I don't know why it was listed. Oh wait, I have a gold drop. I can't see around the echo. There we go. I'm out. <laughs> what on earth? Anyway, it's just weird. But yeah, in the past, when you did your recovery link, it didn't always res everybody like it was supposed to. It sometimes bugged out, which is part of the reason I stopped using it. But in this instance, we could see that it clearly resed meta when we needed to res him. And one day, we're going to get... this supply drop well, we were going somewhere I thought we were just running in circles it certainly seemed like it Was random. Yay, MLB.
Are you able to shoot that guy on top? I didn't need health anyways. Weapon parts! Yay! Because I have no idea how many I have. All right, we've got two groups here. Right, going for the box. Supply drop successfully claimed. Supply drop sites are clear. That count for you? That's good. So we now have our supply drops. Let's see. Why don't we try a mission? Um missions for the most part are supposed to be geared up higher now so if we do this one let's do the hospital one go ahead and fast travel to it and then i will start it all right let us change it so we can replay it We'll play it on hard, just because. Okay, so we've got it on replay, and it's on hard. Yeah. Got a lot of hostiles inside, agents. They're Watch for the door. We need those personnel back right, at the base. Go. Let me change my two skills around. I keep trying to use the wrong one. There we go. NG, your left flank. Sorry, if you keep hearing me change what I'm calling better, it's because he's 
He's usually called next game, and for whatever reason, his character is not called next game. Can you patch me into the security system? I might be able to find Candle's location. Patched in. Let's see what I can find. Can you see the CCTV feed? Looks like Candle and her staff are being forced to treat their wounded. That's the only reason they're still alive. It looks like they've got people upstairs, in a restaurant. So, another bonus to this time is that our ammo in your guns... There's a lot of these guys. Is supposed to restock itself instead of needing to be reloaded by you and whatnot like that. So that is good. Now, I'm fairly surprised that NG's running around using cover, because that's not his norm. Okay, there should be an ammo box somewhere around here, too, at least. This over here. I'm a little disappointed in how easily I take damage when I have half a million health. Uh, I don't feel like that has been improved there. Word is that they've really tracked the place. It would have broken my dad's heart to see it go to hell like this. We used to watch games there together. I've also noticed that my health box doesn't start I think it's, better my folks it's cooldown the until end. after then I think about all the people I've uh, put it away and it's no longer in use, so that's a bit annoying as well. To get to Kobe's, you'll have to pass by some contaminated areas. There used to be plenty of sick people being treated there before they got shot. So be careful.
Okay, don't forget we have another wave coming, Henji. Party's taking heavy fire from the roof. They can't move until you get up there and take down that gunner. We're pinned down! There's no way we'll make it across the lines unless someone can get up there and take out the big gun. Did you hear that? Oh yeah. Let's join the party. Do you think they have cake? Have to go there and find out. In party streamers. Alpha escort, we have an agent on the roof. Has Candle made it to your position? Affirmative. Sheer staff just arrived. As soon as the hostiles on the roof are gone, we'll get her across safely. Is this room? I was gonna ask if that's where we're gonna hang out, but... Are you carrying a sniper rifle? Equipped? Yeah. Okay. Because so I think we need to get Hutch down to stop the wave spawns. I'm not entirely sure why all the baseball bat people are running at me, but, you know. So that is pretty much a small taste of what update 1.4 looks like and delivers. Yeah, We're it. a little less squishy, so, uh, not so much of a marshmallow. Kind of hard to tell how much damage we're going to take or not take. We seem to do better delivering damage or at least the 
baddies absorb more than they used to but again not really fully able to see going to have to take it into something like an incursion or the underground to get a better feel for how the rebalance has affected everything and that's about it this episode so this is juicy by out remember if you enjoyed please like and subscribe have a great day guys thanks